<laughs> welcome to our Tupac podcast, Hello. everyone. Um, welcome to my beautiful co-host. Masala welcome Rene. to my. <laughs> <laughs> welcome it's to welcome. <laughs> <laughs> we do have red nail <laughs> and spider. Hi. Hello. We are by ourselves today because this episode is going to air on Friday. This October Friday, October fifth. <laughs> this Friday, the same day as. The show Dancing Queens oh. premieres mm-hmm. on Netflix. Mm-hmm. Is everyone ready? Yes. I'm so ready. I feel like I'm in purgatory now. <laughs> it is two days, two days, two days. Two days. Guys. Two days countdown. And um, I decided to do this show today because I think it is going to be very cool to hear the thoughts that Marcella has about the show before anyone really gets to see what episodes. Like No one has really seen it. We got to see... 11 minutes of the first episode mm-hmm. and um let's just start with what the show is about i need to introduce <laughs> people that don't know a show called dancing queen on netflix is premiering on friday with eight episodes and the show is about justin johnson also known as Alyssa edwards um star from rupaul's drag race and it is really a show about his life about who he is about his drag life, about his life as Justin Johnson and um, his dance studio in Mesquite and the kids and dance moms. So there's some drama there. Oh, <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> Why was that? Um, his house of Edwards, which are like his best friends that ha- always hang around him. And, um, and then there's Marcella, mm-hmm. who is also on the show. And we want to know from you, what is your role? On the show. Well, it's funny because Alma called me today um, and she's like, can I do an interview with you for OU magazine? Aww. I'm doing an interview on the show and she already interviewed Keely oh, and she nice. was like, I want to hear what you have to say. So I was very, <clears throat> you know, vague because I remember what Waylon had said, but because um, she's like, I'm recording it so I can write my notes after. She was like, what do you think people will expect from the show? And I said, well, you know, after that, um, uh, 11 minutes came out. Justin called me on Monday. Is that right? What that means is like they released the trailer of the show a while back, but then at DragCon, but then he was at DragCon this last week in New York and there they did a panel with Justin, Alyssa Edwards, Mm -hmm. and it was a full room full of people and there they showed the first 11 minutes of Mm -hmm. the very first episode and i hadn't seen it yet and so justin called me and he was like i it is so amazing you'll be so excited to see yourself you look really good because i've been nervous the whole time and um i was like they better have that pretty filter on (laughs) 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 Um, and so you don't really know what to expect and he was really excited about it and um i think after talking to him i think um, obviously this comes out on Friday, but what you can expect is, you know, I think it's going to be a really uplifting show. I think that Justin, um, in his own right is good about making people feel like if you're different, that that's okay. And his favorite thing to say, I think is if you're a boy, doesn't mean you have to wear blue. And if you're a girl, it doesn't mean you have to wear pink. Like we're all kind of acceptance of who you are. And, um, you know, the kids will be on there. I think how tough he is on the kids will show a lot. But that he's very loving outside. I think Justin has a really good heart and he's an amazing person. Him and I have a really special um, connection. So we're always kind of like magnets, like drawn to each other, him and I. Um, it's kind of weird. Like when you are together in one room, it's it's just kind of, it's, it's a really, really <laughs> cool thing to see though. I love, I love, I love him very much as well. And it's so great to have mm-hmm. him as yeah. one of your best friends. I'm, yeah, I'm saying, and I, so. I think too. I uh, I know there's dance mom drama. I think there's a lot of tears, a lot of uh, I cry for sure, um, yelling <laughs> drama. Um, I, I think I think that there's a twist later. Uh, that's what I told Alma too. I was like, because she asked me, "Do you work at Beyond Belief now?" And I was like, "Not right now. I don't know." <laughs> you know, kind of. Um, and for people to kind of see what happens. Um, and it was all, I mean, it was weird because a year ago today we were filming and who knew that? Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. I think the the whole thing a year ago you were filming and 
you know, Justin had filmed before. So there has always been this um, reality TV thing about him and he has always wanted one. And there was, um, even five years ago, there was buzz that he would have one. And then really, we mm-hmm. had filmed our own show a few years ago and that didn't come to be either. And so everyone was kind of like, well, you know, you never know what, if it's going to happen, you can yeah. film all you want, but uh-huh. will, th- will it really be something? Well, when y'all started yeah. in January, you thought it was coming out pretty soon after. That's right. what I was going to say yeah. just now is when we did it, it was supposed to premiere in December and then mm. it was supposed to be in February and then it was April and then it was the summer. And then at that point I was like, oh my God, like I'm yeah. so sick of telling people this is I look like an idiot. Like, yeah. oh, you've been filming? Sure. Yeah. Everybody <laughs> says that stuff and you're like, and then when I saw that first trailer teaser trailer i was like oh shit this is not going under the rug this is actually <laughs> oh my god i kind of got nervous and then the second one when i saw myself i was like oh shit and then obviously the 11 minutes the first i'm in the first 11 minutes so well i think like for me like as your mom mm-hmm. i i I was like, well, you never know. And, you know, I'm I'm more private about this kind of stuff and I didn't want to say anything and then it doesn't happen. And then um, there's certain things we don't want to say today. We're going to do shows on each episode coming up after it premieres. So we're also planning on doing some live stuff, but we'll let everyone know as it happens. But I had no idea. I was like, well... We well, also pause really fast. You're going to see my mom on the show. <laughs> Jolie I saw on you the, in the show. First one. <laughs> but you're also going to see Whitley on the show because yeah. you were at the fair. Oh, I didn't think I'd. <laughs> you were at Hollow at the Halloween party. You and my mom came with me. Oh, yeah. So we were at the uh, winter show too. And winter show in the audience. <laughs> but I think I think Halloween you'll see each other because you're standing next to me the whole time because remember you yeah, know, we, we went to with just extras, Miss Jolie. Jolie. <laughs> Jolie. <laughs> with extras Whitley. <laughs> uh, you and you guys are there with me yeah. because I needed uh, I needed some crew to come with me because I didn't want to go by myself. I always need yeah. a posse. I need, yeah. well, I needed someone, yeah. you yeah. know, because they had, you know. Oh, yeah, we were all in black and we came Because we had Misty's we, bachelorette yeah. party that night. Okay, mm-hmm. I remember that. And I was, was told to dress in the sexiest dress I own. So I tried. It was <laughs> shocking. shocking. Um, I wonder why they asked you that. Yeah, so. yeah, I know. Um, and you know what's funny is when you watch the first eleven minutes, um, it's very interesting because all the prestige girls are there, and mm-hmm. Alma was funny. Mm-hmm. She's like, "Oh my god, everyone I know." And I saw like Ching Lee. Yes, you'll yeah. see Arden. You'll see all the kids, and you kind of it's interesting because. Um, and I can say it now because it's on the first 11 minutes that they showed. And I say, you know, I'm really excited to be with Justin and a fresh start. And I think he's like, we're going to welcome Marcella with open arms. And I'm like, yay. And then, you know, I think that's a funny start to arms also means. <laughs> yeah. Where this kind of transpires. So, well, and I think that's what um, I was getting at with when I when what what started happening is Marcella was being called back to film more and more and more. And I was like, what are they still filming? Like the, they would fly back in town and they would always go, Marcella, we need you for more filming. <laughs> and I was like, what is this? So much extra filming. And yeah. um, then I guess someone told you that you were in all ep- eight episodes. Mm-hmm. And I had no idea. I was like, well, you never know how many is she in. That's what was funny is I filmed for a long time mm-hmm. and they but stopped. To me, it didn't seem that way. So I was like, so I didn't know. And I was like, I don't know. She may be in two or three episodes. Honestly, that's what I thought. So then to hear that she's in all eight and then it went a step further by Justin saying that you are a main part of the show. And all of a sudden I was like, oh, wait, <laughs> what? But I think that you have the same thought as the other moms. Right. I don't think that anybody knows that I'm like. And also, there's a twist. At, we're not going to say it. No, today, we're not going to say we're gonna it. But we're going to talk about it later. There is one. And I think that with that twist, first of all, <laughs> one, after watching it, people are going to be pissed. <laughs> Two, some people might be happy. Three, it's I think it's a funny twist. And I think it's a, you know, it will be interesting. Yeah. Um, I can't believe there's not like a watching party that they film y'all at 
I know. Like us like watching Victoria's it. Secret Fashion Show, how they film the models watching it. Right. I'm like, why don't that would be so funny. Or, With a, re- <laughs> or a reunion because you're going to see what everybody says about you and your confessional. Yeah, so that, that would be so good. Uh huh. And even on the trailer, I know that the uh, Tina is talking about me because mm. she's like, if you can't, if you don't want to do it, we'll find someone who does. Like, if you don't want to get paid, I pay tuition. She's talking about me. Oh, yeah, so. oh. <laughs> she's totally talking about me. And so it's really <laughs> funny because you're going to see I'm going to see what they say about yeah. me and then they are going to see but, yeah. what I say. So what we're going to do, we're going to have our own Dancing Queen What Happened <laughs> shows in here. Right. And we're going to invite some of these dance moms. What? what? We're invite some of everyone. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Wait, what? Yeah. This yes. just got exciting for me. I mean, of course. That's what we're going to do. And we're gonna <laughs> Can have- they sit in there oh and spy their together? It's a little scary. <laughs> We need to have Alyssa on first. Uh, Alyssa sure. is going to come on. Somehow. Justin said he would come on. Um, we're going to have, I want everyone on. So we have to have a lot of fun shows. <laughs> what is wrong with you girls? Um, I'm not even her. And I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, the state fair. <laughs> uh, right? I'm like, what happened at the state fair with just. Lee? They're just, I don't know. Well, that was when Whitley got to experience that with me. And this is yeah. like just in general. And I get the backstory of each mom. Yeah. Like, she was happened? like, I can feel it. I, I can the see. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The tension. Yeah. Yeah. But, you weird. know, we've said this and this can be, I mean, we've said this before even today, but, you know, I was, and I said this to Alma too. I mean, I was one foot in and they are not going to let me have that other. F- I mean, I was yeah. kicked out there before. I mean, I didn't even get a chance to get to know me at well, I think all. what's important to say is also, and I'm going to say it as your mom and you can then um, say your feelings, but it's always been difficult for Marcella to be accepted with a lot of dance moms because she is a sexy bikini model as well. And people forget what an amazing um, role model <coughs> she is for her students and for her girls and what she teaches them. She is so much more than what people want to see sometimes um she has so much to teach and so much to say and the her students that have graduated and moved on i believe that every single one of them would come in and say that this exact thing they all still call they all still in touch with her they say that she taught them so many things life lessons and all that kind of stuff got a message right from lucy oh yeah lucy i mean yeah i think you know valerie sent that message with lucy um, so many, 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 many students have been. But they even text me and they're like, I think about what you told us about. I mean, I can dress however, but I'm still I can dress one way, but I still carry myself as a classy woman. Like you'll right. never I'll never be that girl. First of all, I'm not a slut. I don't sleep around. I'll never hear that about me. I know that for a fact. I'll never be the girl that's wasted at a party that you have to carry over your shoulder, and carry out of a club. I'll never be. Like, I'll never have that trashy behavior. And I always taught the girls. We would sit down and I would think that, you know, Justin is Justin. He's a man. And even when he called me, he was like, I told the girls that you would be coming to, like, teach a heels class. And he said they want that female. I mean, Justin can dress like a woman all he wants to, but I'm still a woman. So to teach certain things, it's different. And they yeah. want you want that energy. And it's good to have you as a mom I'm sure it's nice to have someone that the kids can come to the kids told me a lot of stuff that they're not going to tell their mom yeah and I always said unless it's like a a danger I will not it's like I'm a counselor at the same time so you would think that as a mother you would like that and I'm not sure I would assume that it's more the mom's insecurities absolutely than than really me being with their kids and um Lee likes to tell me if they're not talking about someone else, if they talked about themselves, it'd be boring and no one would listen. So <laughs> let's well, talk about someone else. Right. And so what was really hard for me to watch is that you were so excited to go to Beyond Belief and um, feel like accepted. you say, like you say in the first 11 minutes, you were looking for a fresh start. Losing mm-hmm. prestige was super hard. We have other episodes where we talk about that. That's not what this is about, but what was exciting was for you to have a new start. That's mm-hmm. what you came there for. And because you and Justin have such an amazing relationship, that's what the whole thing was. Well, I and think then- what's confusing too is Justin and I met probably 10 years ago at competition. Right. So, and we had a bond because no other studio director liked us either. So him right. and I 
Which, we're I mean, all together. <laughs> yeah, we're ex all together. And so I got very confused because at competition, now I always taught my girls clap for everybody. Well, the Beyond Belief girls and the Prestige girls got along so well. And then they went to Booker T together and they were best friends. And then Justin and I were best friends. And really at competition, I would talk to some of the moms and we were very loving with each other there. So I felt like, oh my gosh, I'm going to come to a place. They accept a drag queen. They are for sure going to accept me. Right. I mean, boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that either. I'm like, damn it. I can't win. It was almost worse. Well, what was crazy too is we always for years at the competitions would say, oh my gosh, Justin, what can we do? How can we put our two oh, companies yeah. together? Like, Let's just pretend. Let's make a production. Yeah. Like do something that has never been done before because. Well, you got one. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> <You> got one. <laughs> like that, we talked about that so often, but we could never figure out the. How? The how to to really actually get it done but i think i say this in an interview do you really yeah because i don't know <laughs> i said that you know i i was so excited i think maybe that's why i was so devastated at the same time i went in in my head so excited that here are my kids who are amazing athletes and technicians and good performers too but then you have justin to the artistic um performance quality in the way that justin thinks like the theatrical stuff and i thought my god if you put those together there's no other i mean you could take over and so i had you know my 20 something kids and his and combined we had like uh, 60 something Mm -hmm. so i thought like and then we watched one day and i don't think this is on camera so i'm gonna say it but there was a day me and justin were sitting at the front and the kids went one at a time, like across the floor. They could do student's choice, you call it. And I remember him and I holding hands and we were like, oh my, like, oh my gosh. Like, yeah, we have made like a force like of kids. So I think what the parents don't realize either is what they did is they kind of, I mean, I'm sure now at the show he'll get a flood it will of be fine, but. kids. But I'm saying at the time it was like, we. I felt that there was something completely unstoppable in this room, like. They all were together. But I think the, the moms felt like even my kids were a threat. I was a threat. They're going to take their kid's spot. And I know that that's how that seemed. So we were just not welcome at right. all. Which is sad. And I do say that in an interview. It's just it made me sad. Uh, a lot of our prestige moms would come to me and mm-hmm. tell me that they didn't feel accepted. They mm-hmm. they had that, you know, you can't you cannot fight energy and you can't fight a spirit. So you can try really, really hard. But when you always walk into that over and over and over again, even myself included with Jolie, you just kind of sometimes go, and it didn't affect me as much because Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I mean, I'm friends with Justin. So it was, I was a little different even from how our parents got treated and it made me feel sad. And they are like, why are we doing this? We're driving so far. Mm -hmm. I don't want to deal with this anymore. And so one after the other after the other kind of fell off. And that that's still, I mean, the when you think back at it and where it is now, I'm kind of, man, I wish we could have held on to that because imagine having that yeah. show and that exposure and having had all that. But there's a reason for everything. <laughs> so like everything happens for a reason. And I know for a reason. I think all my kids are happy where they are. Everybody asks me where they went. I'm like, they kind of just dispersed, I think. Different and they're happy. Places. At their studios, and I'm happy for them and wish everybody well. I mean, I don't hold grudges. It's, like, totally fine. Right. I just, it at the time, you know, because if you think about it, we were filming a year ago, and my life was, like, I felt, like, in shambles. I'm a lot different now, obviously, <laughs> but. Uh, Yay. I mean, there was a day filming uh, that is raining, and I had to pull over. I couldn't go. Like, I was, like, this is December. I was huddled over, like, about so to throw up. So that brings me to a question, Marcella. <laughs> Tell everyone, everyone always wonders, reality TV, <laughs> how much is really oh, real? Yeah, like, is it scripted or how mm-hmm. much is really really hearing? I mean, you called me mm-hmm. that day and you did pull over and you were like, I cannot do it. And uh-huh. I was, I didn't know what to do. I'm at home. I'm like, I how am I going to pick her up from the side of the road on the highway? Producers I'm like, what am I doing? Let's just have her come when she feels better. I'm like, no, like, I think I'm dying. Like, something is wrong. <laughs> there is, you know... Uh, this isn't a secret obviously you can't carry cameras around and film people in their day-to-day and expect stuff to happen um so scripted definitely i'm not an actress 
So to a scripted, I would not be well. Like, I mean, I would couldn't read this and be like, say this like this. So anything you see from me is a real reaction, a real statement. The tears are real. The anger is real. So it is not scripted. I mean, they set up the scenario. The situations. That are set up. And we're, I mean, I even talked to some moms at the, at Justin's opening of his brand new studio. And. But you have no idea what I do for my daughter, mom. Oh my gosh! Yeah, yeah. and um, uh, 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 some other ones too. And because I love what they do, (laughs) and it's in every trailer. But what they do is they they set up situations, but they before those situations, they have already broken you down Mm -hmm. to a point where then they are getting the real reactions. This is not staged at all. Sexy dress to Halloween. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, Send us your sexiest pictures. These are great, but we want the super sexy. I'm like, I know what you're doing. I mean, then I get texts from the from the producers. Hey, now I know she's been sending pictures like crazy. Hey, do you have any like lingerie and <laughs> do I? <laughs> do I? <laughs> of course I do. You have any of those topless pictures from yeah, when, you, right. when you were four? Exactly. Yeah. I have those. Exactly. I knew it. You were a slut since the beginning. How dare you come out naked? Well, we all did, ma'am. <laughs> Put some clothes on. Yeah. yeah. So um, what was really sweet, though, we went to Justin's opening of his new studio and no one knew we were coming. No. And um, it was very sweet. Don, um, Justin's uh, office manager and best friend for many years, was there and she came up to myself and she said, you know, nobody should take anything that was said personal. <laughs> Everyone love each other. Everyone meant it on a different way that day um basically paving the road of uh oh my god what did i say or what did this one say or what did this one say and in the end we're all a really big family and everyone gets along that's basically where that is now you know what's funny though is now like i laugh like i don't i am it literally could care less i i thought it was funny going to justin's thing and some of the moms were still like they will not talk to me <laughs> and it's fine i'm like god i do not care at this point um i've And I have to say, when Justin did call me, too, he said, I want you to know that I I can't imagine the space you were in at that time. Like Mm -hmm. when you lost prestige and, you know, you're not you don't have a husband or kids, so you you're not married or so this was our life. And so he kind of it was really sweet because some time has gone by now and I don't hold grudges with anyone. So the moms are really like this big in my brain. I don't think about them day to day. They're not though. Yeah, not the kind of people you're gonna be around. <laughs> no, so, I'm know. not. And it doesn't matter. And at this point, it doesn't matter if I see them. I will always be the bigger person and say hello. Um, I don't care. And in the end, the truth is, you are a dance teacher, choreographer, mm-hmm. and when you're in the room, yeah. you're teaching those kids. Yeah. So whatever happens with the moms, and right. if there was anything going on with the moms, I know you well enough that you can walk in that room. And yeah. every kid will be treated the best possible way. Right. And it doesn't matter if the mom acts like a complete fool. It does not matter. You yeah. love those children the same. You teach them yeah. the same. So there is no problem in the future moving forward. Yeah. Yeah. I wanted to talk um, real quick about, I don't know if everyone knows this, but about how much buzz there was with the first trailer and that Justin told us that it was the most watched trailer of the whole entire Netflix library of all unscripted shows ever in history. And it was only, it was second only to Stranger Things out of the whole entire library of Netflix. So as a huge, a huge buzz around it, it's going to be shown in 190 countries. It will be translated into 98 languages. Um, I want to like just <laughs> switch yeah. it. Like, I want to hear you talk. Well, somebody talk. translate you into a different language. I yeah. can't okay, well, hear here's what's German. really funny. Yeah. And then you have to tell a little bit of a story about that. You have We had a meeting before filming at all. And it's Justin. You were there. <laughs> we're sitting in the office. And the producer is on the phone. And he's like, oh, yeah, Justin, this will be in... At the time, he said 98 countries, and it has changed now to 100. No, it was 98 languages. That's how we got it wrong. Oh, okay. Well, 190 countries, 
And he goes, Marcella, you're going to be talking Chinese. And I was like, <laughs> what? I go, but there are 190 countries. Yeah, I was about to say, I didn't knew? know there were that many. <laughs> I did not know that. Like, <laughs> How I, many are there? I thought there was like five. I know. I thought there were seven. <laughs> I kept on thinking. Everyone. Of, Marcella thought uh, there was five countries. <laughs> I think I thought seven. Okay, but if that's you think. Continents. continents yeah. Oh, that's yeah, what I'm thinking. Me I'm too. like, if you think of the, the globe. Oh, but it is the continent. <laughs> oh, yeah. but I it is. Just, think of, just countries. think of how many countries are in Europe. How many oh. countries are in a continent? It just depends on which one it is. <laughs> it's oh. all different ones. <laughs> Spider, can we do a geography <laughs> lesson <laughs> someday? I, I thought we were it. in South America until like two, two and a half years ago. Oh, God, that's really bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We well, because I'm like, oh, we're south. Okay, South, south America. America. <laughs> and then <laughs> someone's like, a world map in here, please. <laughs> 190 countries. So I'm like, which six are left out? Right, I don't know. Because there's 196 countries, is there? Did you see oh, last Justin. night on Bravo? Yeah, that was that crazy. Hair. And then <laughs> it he was posted so crazy. The, the mom stoned that hair piece. They did? Yeah, he said. Um, um, wanna, let me see it. Wow. Where is it at? <clears throat> Hold on. on he just posted... In the meantime, I want to tell everyone that Justin's booth at New York DragCon was the most popular booth. People I saw a had lot of pictures. People had to wait up to six hours and waited and said they would have waited longer <coughs> just to get a chance to see him. So Her. it says what everything is by and it says wig at, I can't say this name, Joaquin Croner or something. Stoned by the moms at Beyond Belief Dance Company. Oh my gosh, that is oh, wow. amazing! Isn't that funny. Mm-hmm. Dancing Queen That's premieres in 190 countries in two days. Two days, two days. There appears to be 195 countries in the well, world. 95. So you're pretty close. We're close. It's close. Now. <clears throat> oh my gosh, that's so cute. There is a premiere party on Friday. Mm-hmm. Is that tomorrow? No, on Friday. Two more two days. days. Ah, two days. Uh, Friday night. Yeah, that's right. Same day. Mm-hmm. That Marcella and I are going to go to. That mm-hmm. will be fun. We're going to talk about that next Justin week. Justin invited us. Yep. That's going to be fun. Um, there is going to be a watch party in a movie theater on Saturday. Mm-hmm. We're going to go to that. Mm-hmm. Um, we'll talk about that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, it's going to be very interesting to see these episodes because no one has seen them. No one knows anything. So it's kind of it's going to be a lot of fun I think um, so the moms will be there for that I hope so on Saturday and f- on Friday I'm sure too yeah, yeah. I'm sure it's the I whole cast I can't they're not filming it it's already I there. know they might be <coughs> right I know I don't know just have your own camera crew follow you yeah around. right yeah <laughs> I could ask fear oh, for what what day I, I could ask fear to come with a camera on what day both days <laughs> no <laughs> I wouldn't do that right now <laughs> um Tell us a little bit more about what else do you have to say about the filming process? Like, was there hair and makeup? Was no. Was outfits? <laughs> How did that go? Season one. I did all my own hair and makeup. Uh-huh. All my own outfits. Which I forgot what I wore. <laughs> um, You'll find out soon enough. I know, yeah. right? Um, I was very particular on my interview outfits, you know, just mm-hmm. to get dressed up. Because it's hard as a dancer to like really show style i mean we're lululemon i guess i just don't know i mean how can i look cute in the studio but i kind of i tried more than i would normally to be honest <laughs> that's you always looked cute Thanks. yeah always like active wear, <laughs> active wear yeah. yeah um so yeah all my own hair and makeup it's a lot very grueling i don't think anybody understands like filming is not just like five minutes like a lot of waiting. If you're going to be there for two hours, that means 10. Like, mm-hmm. times that, like, you're never finished, like, and then everything's running late. It doesn't start. You never end on time. You never start on time. It's like, yeah. If you. A lot of hours a of lot your life. A lot of hours. A lot of hours doing nothing sometimes, waiting, waiting. Yeah. And then, but there's cameras always on. That's the other thing. And well, you, you are forget. mic'd. You, you forget, forget. your mic. I know on Halloween talking to people you would get a hug and they're like wait are you mic'd and you're like oh shit i don't i forgot <laughs> or like you don't think about you being mic'd when you pee oh wow. <laughs> when you go to the bathroom <laughs> um and yeah once you have like if you are someone who is mic'd you will forget 
And then mm-hmm. you're going to say stuff. And I think at the state fair, I said a lot on that mic that I forgot that I really? was mic'd. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We were talking about <laughs> moms. For sure. And I was like, <laughs> fuck, I have a mic on. Yeah, you told me that. I yeah. was like, oh, good. <laughs> oh, okay. So I think, and you know, in editing, I do know this too. I mean, they can say that I said something when I'm not even right there. Uh, what's funny is the the first 11 minutes um, that we watched, mm-hmm. at the beginning, I'm in a different outfit than I am um, when he introduces me. And it's supposed to be the same day. Oh. Which is pretty funny, but I'm like, I noticed that. I don't know. You know, it's just funny how things get edited. Jumbled. Oh, oh yeah. Mm-hmm. It's definitely going to be interesting. <laughs> I just want to know how it is. I just want to know what happened. Like, I'm so, you live it and then, and then sometimes you forget, like, yeah. what happens. So, right. Keely told Alma that she was like, yeah, the moms really just, like, forced Marcella out. So, she asked me about that. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. I was like, well, you'll see. <laughs> you'll see what How happens. Long is each episode? 45 minutes. Okay. I can be done with that in a day. Yeah. That's <laughs> why I can binge so, it. I was talking to someone and I was like, there's no way. I mean, not everybody's going to watch it in a day. And somebody goes, oh, oh yeah, they will. Uh, yeah, people do it all the time. Will. Saturday, all day. Yeah. Lay in bed. Watch yeah. a whole show. I would, but I'll be up here, unfortunately. <laughs> I, I'll get to see it, though. If we do the premiere party, I'll have to get ready. So mm-hmm. I'll have like this long of a yeah. window to like You might not watch. be able to watch all of it. No. <laughs> well, I'll watch all of it. <laughs> okay, let me know. I'll do it. <laughs> let me know if I look Now, stupid. what you should do, I heard a lot is do a lot of live tweeting when you're watching. They okay. say tweet as you watch. <laughs> <laughs> tweet. <laughs> tweet, tweet. Um, I hate Twitter. Me too. I'm so bad at also. <laughs> well, they said that Twitter for reality TV shows is a great thing mm-hmm. to do as you watch it. So, okay, so you can, can just do that. Type stuff. Got it. Oh no, 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 no. I used to when I watched Walking Dead, but it it's still going on. I think it just got it too is. long. It's terrible now. And I was like, yeah, no, mm. <laughs> no thanks. I don't know what that is. <laughs> it's a zombie, it's a zombie show. show. <laughs> I really was excited about that, and then I watched one, and I was like, <laughs> really, well, it, it was good as it. Like the what three seasons and then it's like yeah. oh what is it season ten now this is well yeah they, they're, they're still turned, eating they each turned other it into yeah. a soap opera pretty much so now yeah. like half the cast members are leaving and they're bringing new people in yeah yeah it's not, good. not fun but I can definitely binge that <laughs> <laughs> I'm a great binger <laughs> well oh, well it's gonna be fun we're looking forward to it mm-hmm. um, can't wait to come back and invite some of these characters on this show and I can. Uh, I, I, want yeah. some, I want some drama in here. <laughs> you want to have fight? We don't have enough. I don't know if I have a lock on this door, unfortunately. <laughs> You're going to need a better, a better rope. <laughs> time out, whatever. <laughs> yeah. So everyone watch Dancing Queen um, on Netflix and let us know how you feel about everything. Yeah. Um, let us know. <laughs> I'll live tweet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, everyone. Have a wonderful weekend. Thank you.